Hey, I'm Heather, and I'm a pretty normal cat. Well, except for one thing. My horn. You see, when I was born, my totally normal cat parents loved me, but they were totally confused. Our baby girl is beautiful. Yeah, she really is. Hey, what's that bump on her head? Huh? What? Is that a unicorn horn? They had no idea how I was born like this, and the doctors couldn't explain it either. They couldn't teach me how to do magic, so I never learned how to control my powers. And since they didn't want me to be made fun of because of my horn, they always homeschooled me. Well, until now. This is the story of my first day in public school. What to wear? Mm, no. Hmm, maybe? <gasps> I love it! Now I'm totally ready for school. Oh, hey, good morning, Mom and Dad. Good morning, honey. I can't believe it's my little girl's first day of high school. Yeah, it seems like it was just your first day of kindergarten. <laughs> I know, I can't believe it either. Mm, I'm so hungry. But, sweetie, are you sure you want to do this? I can sign you up for homeschool again right now. Mom? Heather, your mother's right. Kids can be cruel to anybody who's different. I mean, nobody has ever seen a unicat before. And what if your powers go off in class? I know you're just looking out for me, but I'm prepared for all that stuff, and my powers haven't gone off in forever. Plus, I've never had friends before, and I really want to know what it's like. Yeah, I understand. Thanks, Mom. Heather, honey, looks like your bus is here. Uh, I just started eating, but I guess it's time to go. Hey, Heather, hold on. Hmm? Heather, you can't leave without a hug. Oh, right, I'm sorry. We love you so much. Have an amazing first day at school. Aw, I love you guys too, but I really gotta go now. See you guys after school. Ooh, a group of unicorns. I should go talk to them. Maybe they'll like me. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? That was so dumb. <laughs> hey, guys. Uh, hi. My name's Heather. What about you guys? Um, are you new here? Uh, yeah, I am. Um, I was wondering if I could maybe sit with you guys at lunch. It's just, I don't know anybody here, and I think it would be fun. Yeah, no offense, but we can't really be seen with, uh, things like you. Uh, sorry. Huh? What do you mean? I'm not a thing. Uh, looks like I gotta go. Ew, what was that? That girl was so weird. No, right? <laughs> a cat with a horn? Ridiculous. Come on, girls. Next class. Be right there.
Hello class, um, my name is Mr. Bongo, and this year I will be your biology teacher. Oh my goodness, this is so exciting! I am finally in school, in a classroom, learning about biology from a teacher, not from a computer. I cannot believe this. If somebody could read my thoughts, they'd think I was such a nerd. Oh no. Why is my horn tingling? Oh no, oh no, oh no, this is bad, this is bad. I have not had a magical outburst in years. Why is this happening now? Okay, I just gotta concentrate and nothing bad will happen, right? Concentrate, Heather, concentrate. Oh no, why is my notebook moving? This is bad, this is bad. Oh no, I really hope nobody's watching. This is so embarrassing. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Okay, I, ju I just gotta calm down. Take deep breaths. Okay, all under control. Now we just gotta listen to Mr. Bongo talk and it'll be fine. You see, molecules are quite interesting. Oh no, why am I moving? If I start floating, people are definitely gonna see. Uh, concentrate. Uh, uh. uh, Heather, what are you doing? Uh, Mr. Bonkos, I'm just, uh, jumping for joy because I just love biology so much, you know? <laughs> you know? Okay then, moving on. Was that girl floating? Dude, I should record this. Okay, I think I'm okay now. Not again! I feel like coming on stronger this time. I don't think I can stop it. <laughs> oh my dog, what have I done? Oh my god! I'm awake? What's what's going on? Heather, fix this now! I'm trying, I'm trying, I can't! Heather! I can't deal with this. I can't stop it, I can't stop it! Real unicorn handle this? Thanks, Rosette. Thank you, Rosette. Thank you. Class is dismissed. <sighs> and send. That was such a funny video. Wow. Okay, that was super embarrassing, but that doesn't mean I can't make friends anymore, right? If I didn't fit in with the unicorns, maybe I'll fit in with the cats. I'll go talk to them. <laughs> the look on her face! <laughs> this is hilarious! <gasps> oh my goodness, she's coming! Hey guys, what are you watching? We're watching you! <laughs> Duh! I cannot believe you can't control your powers! How embarrassing is that? W what? What do you mean? How did you get that video? <laughs> Somebody sent it to the whole school! Everybody's watching it right now! <gasps> and girl, what is that thing on your forehead? I mean, you are not a unicorn, obviously. Yeah, I mean, it looks like you have a sparkly turd attached to your face. Excuse me? Hey girlies! Oh, it's you again. Hmm. I disagree though. I don't think it looks like a sparkly turd. Thank you! It looks more like a growth, you know, like a tumor, something unnatural that shouldn't be there, just like her. <laughs> 
Oh my goodness, even her eyes are weird. They're different colors. She quite literally may be the ugliest thing I have ever laid my eyes upon. That's not true. She's ugly and stupid. I mean, who can't control their powers like that? Like a two-year-old can do better than that. Stop it, stop it. Come on girls, sing with me. Unicorn cat, unicorn cat. Never, never seen, seen anything, anything uglier, uglier than, than that. that. <sighs> I gotta go. <laughs> hey, Heather, wait. Why are you going after her? That's the gross unicorn cat. You guys are absolutely pathetic. You know that, right? <laughs> hey. Oh, great. Another unicorn here to bully me again? No, thanks. No, no, I didn't come here to bully you. Um, my name's Harmony, and I actually think you're pretty cool. Really? You don't think I'm weird like everybody else thinks? No, I think you're super unique. I mean, I've never seen anybody like you. And please, please, please don't listen to everybody else, and especially not the other unicorns. They bully me all the time too, because I have two horns. Wow, really? Yeah, I just try not to listen to them though. They're just really insecure and just like beating out all their problems on others. Yeah, but I mean, they're right. I can't stay at this school. I can't be distracting everybody by just, you know, magically appearing toads into the classroom. I can do magic, but never on purpose. I mean, I just have these magical outbursts like today where my horn randomly starts doing random things and I cannot do anything about it. Hey, well, I could teach you magic if you want. Seriously? Yeah, of course. I can come over later and we can both practice like every day. Oh my gosh, I would love that so, 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 so much. Thank you, Harmony. Of course. Okay, Heather, first lesson. I want you to make yourself fly. Fly? Jeez. Just try your best, it's okay. Here, let me help you up. Harmony, this is absolutely hopeless. Thanks for trying to help me, but I'm just not meant for this. I'm not a unicorn. Come on, Heather, that is not true at all. You've done the magic before, just not on purpose. Now you just gotta learn to do it on purpose. Okay, let's retry. All right. Just concentrate and believe that you're floating. Imagine in your head that you are, you know, just flying around the room and you'll be able to do it. Okay, Harmony, but this is the last time I'm trying. Er, Come on. Er, ah! I'm doing it! I'm doing it! <laughs> I'm flying! Woo! <laughs> Harmony, look at me! You are doing amazing! Okay, I'm starting to get dizzy. Now, try to put yourself down. Again, just concentrate and believe you're going to the ground. Uh... I did it! Oh my goodness! Harmony, seriously, thank you so much. Now I can actually go to school. No problem. By the way, you're the very first friend I've ever had, so it really means a lot to me that you're hanging out with me. Of course, anytime. 